welcome back, everybody. This is good for me, because I've actually wanted to meet this brother for a while. My next guest has worked with Hollywood's best in movies like Dream Girls, Jawhead, and The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Well, now he's entering the fifth season of The Last Ship. Please welcome Jocko Sims. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you. My man. You. First of all, I gotta say, I'm sitting here with Mr. Steve Harvey. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. I've made it. Yeah. I've made it. This You're is all. You're doing good, man. I Thank appreciate you, you saying that. Appreciate so, is, is Jocko, is Jocko a family name? Yeah, actually, uh, my real name is Jackie, and I'm the third. I'm named after my father and my grandfather. But for some reason, uh, legend has it, the day I was born, my grandmother said, Let's call him Jocko. You know, it had nothing to do with Jackie. It's not spelled the same, but I actually found... Oh, no, y'all didn't. <laughs> yeah, there, you need that. Yeah. Hey, you. let me talk to you about this, because President Obama follows you on Twitter. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Look, that's probably, you know, my biggest claim to fame. Like, in case anybody who follows me on Twitter forgets, I, I tweeted out every six months to remind everybody. <laughs> I don't even know why. Maybe you watched The Last Ship. Your Instagram, we pulled it up, man. Your Instagram is just loaded with cooking posts. Man, I love that it. That just look, is that what, look at you, boy. I'm not playing around, Steve. I'm not playing around. Listen, it's in my blood. I get it, I, okay, I get it. Wait, wait, did you see the thirst? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look real thirsty when you had that apron on with no shirt. <laughs> I have some thirsty, just, they embarrass me so many times. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I get that from my mom. I actually brought my mom today. She's sitting right there in the audience. That's your mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I get it from her. She cooks? She throws down. Her fried chicken is, is unrivaled. It's incredible. Really? So, you know, she don't play around. She puts a foot in it. <laughs> like they say, put a foot That's in that That's good, power. man. Absolutely. So, you, okay, you come out to Hollywood to become an yeah. actor. Because you're from Texas. Yes, yes, sir. When did you realize that you weren't in Texas anymore? I realized when I was in Hollywood, when I found out my next door neighbor was the Archbishop Don Magic Juan. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Don Juan. Don Juan. He was a great friend of mine. I lived next to him for about seven years. And, you know, we, he's come, come over to fellowship. He's had some meals. He, he's prayed for me, I prayed for him. He's a really good friend of mine. And as you would say, church. Yeah. Church, preach, tap. You know, hey man, do you know how well I know Magic Don Juan? Oh, well. I've gone to the Players Ball in Chicago. Oh, absolutely. Every December. In the 90s. Oh, wow. Yeah, I went in the 90s, man. Okay. I, this dude right here, now, how he started was very different. He was a pimp. Yeah. That became a bishop. Yeah. Ordained bishop. At you just go along with it after that. Just <laughs> I, I, also that you you hang out. Now this messed me up. All right. Cause this one made me really love you, man. Okay. First was Magic Don Juan. Yeah. You hang out with my man Verdine White well, from Earth, Wind, yeah. and Fire. Oh. Woo! Legendary. I met him at an event in L.A. that's thrown by a good friend of mine named Dylan Barry, and it's called Noise. And I walked in. I said, Is that Verdine White? Yeah. From Earth, Wind, Fire. I thought it was incredible, so I, I took a picture with him, hung out with him. He's been there a few times. Amazing, amazing dude. And of course, I mean, he's the, one of the greatest talents, you know, in, yeah. the, in the world. Hey, hey, man, let's talk about the show. All right. You play a, uh, you play a lieutenant on the last ship. Yes, yes. So if you were dropped into a situation on a naval ship, yeah. would you be able to get yourself out of it? Uh... In my mind, I think I could. <laughs> no, it's been a lot of time on there. What's great about the show is we've had Navy SEALs and, and advisors side by side with us the entire time. So we get trained well to make sure that we do it right. And we've had the support of the United States Navy the entire time, five seasons now. So it's just been incredible. Yeah. Um, become really good friends with the Secretary of the Navy. Uh, I got invited to the Pentagon, and it, it was just incredible to get a private tour. My boss on the last ship is Michael Bay, and apparently I was told that when he went to the Pentagon, he only got to visit once, and they banned him from the Pentagon. So the thing is, you can't take any pictures, any cameras, any video or anything, obviously, because it's top secret. But Michael Bay went, and then he did a movie, and people were watching, and they said, wait a minute, that's a carbon copy of what we, we did. 
They were like, I thought he couldn't have any cameras. They said, he didn't bring any cameras. Well, how did he do it? He remembered it, exactly how it was. So the guy's a genius, but they said he can't come back no more because his, his brain is like a camera. <laughs> That's messed so, up, man. Yeah. That's messed up. Yeah. I've enjoyed myself, man. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. You've, Thank you. You really, you, you, you got a bright future, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're gonna do well, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. Great Thank job, so man. Much, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, folks, be sure to watch Jocko on The Last Ship uh, returning to TNT this summer. Folks, we'll be right back, everybody.